One way to avoid eating too much sugar is to be ready. If you're prepared with food to eat when you have a craving, when you're feeling tired, and when you're hungry, you'll do a lot better sticking to your goals. Frozen fruit dessert This isn't as much of a recipe as an idea. You can use your food processor, high-speed blender. All you do is freeze the fruit blended in the blender or the food processor. It's simple and tastes wonderful. Tip. Use the ripest fruit you can for the sweetest flavor. Snacks The best snacks have a good balance of fat and protein. These low-sugar snack ideas will help you if you miss sugar at all. Apples and peanut butter Skip the bread and just slice up an apple, then spread it with sugar-free peanut butter. The best peanut butter has one ingredient. Peanuts. The fiber in the apple makes the sugar digest slowly. The fat and protein in the peanut butter keep you satiated. Fiber-rich loaf everyone. likes bread but it can pack a huge sugar punch. But, you can make your own fiber-rich bread that is low in sugar and healthy for you. No sugar fiber loaf 1 cup hulled, salt-free raw pumpkin seeds 1 half cup hemp seeds 1 half cup raw peeled almonds 1.5 cup rolled oats 2 tablespoons chia seeds 3 tablespoons psyllium husk powder 1 teaspoon fine grain sea salt 1 tablespoon honey 3 tablespoons applesauce 1.5 cup of water combine all dry ingredients. Set aside. Combine all wet ingredients in a separate bowl. Then pour the wet ingredients into the dry. Mix until it forms a thick dough. If you notice that it's too dry, you can add more water. Form into a dough and put it into a prepared bread pan. You can prepare your bread pan with some oil spread on with a paper towel, or you can line the pan with parchment paper. Cover pan and dough with a towel and let sit in a warm place for at least two hours. When the dough has risen enough, you'll know because it keeps its shape when you touch it lightly with your finger. Bake in a 350 degree F oven on the middle rack for about 30 to 40 minutes. Done bread will sound hollow when thumped. Fermented veggies. Let's make this simple. You can chop a bunch of veggies, or you can go to the fresh section of your grocery and buy pre-chopped veggies in bags, or from the salad bar. It's up to you how you do it but, you'll want to chop them smaller anyway. Probably one half inch pieces will work best. In addition, you need some glass jars with sealable lids, such as canning jars. Chop a mixture of veggies that you enjoy. Include at least a couple of apples or carrots due to the sweet flavor they provide. Add some ginger too if you like the flavor. Sprinkle all with salt. Fill each jar with your mixture of chopped veggies tightly. Leave one inch of space from the top. Smash the veggies into the jar. You want them very tight. Then into each filled jar, put the following mixture into the jar until it's one inch below the top. Brine four cups of water one tablespoon sea salt mix until the salt is totally dissolved. Ensure that the veggie mixture always stays under the water in the jar. If you need to, weight the mixture down with a stone or weight. Cover with some cheesecloth and a rubber band. Keep in a warm spot for 3 to 5 days. Check the mixture daily to ensure that everything stays under the brine. You'll know when your fermented veggies are done when your veggies are bubbling. That shows that the fermenting process has completed. Your veggies should also smell a little sour but you should like the smell. They should also taste good. After that has happened, put the normal lids the jars on and put them in the fridge. What now? If you really want to rid yourself of sugar cravings, lose weight, and get healthier, a good way to do it is to avoid added sugars. Remember, the sugar that is found naturally in plants that you eat is usually okay, although you should try to limit super sweet fruit like dried fruits and dates. Take it one day at a time. Focus on eating until you're satisfied and not stuffed whenever you're hungry. Get enough hydration, exercise, and sunshine and you'll kick that sugar habit to the curb in no time.